Okay, Joe and Tammy. We're looking at 181 Randy Hills Drive in Port Orange. You're here in the lawnmower in the background. We're gonna do a full 360 here. Get an idea of the neighborhood. Above average owner pride. No HOA. I've lived in this neighborhood. People are good people. Care about their homes, get them out. Looking down, that's towards the entrance right there of the neighborhood. The neighbor next to you. This looks like a concrete block with stucco cover. That rock stucco is what that is. Um, and then they did some like some plywood over that. We'll have to double check that to make sure it is concrete block under that, but it's kind of a board and batten type look. Original windows, let's keep that in mind. Roof looks like a three tab shingle, which could be towards the end of its life. There's three tab shingles and been used in about 20 years. So you're looking directly at the dining room. This is kind of a dining room, living room combo. We'll just kind of go towards this way. I'll look back here. And looking out to your backyard, fenced in backyard. We'll go out there here in a second. This is looking back towards the entrance. It's got a little family room, living room in the front. It is a split plan. You have your master bedroom on this side. Eight foot ceilings throughout. There's no vault. It's just good old 70s style. Look back this way. You can see the entrance to the bedroom. You got your closet right there, California closet. This is your bathroom, master bath. It's your only private bathroom. That's a fan running. I'll turn that off. So hear each other. All your toiletries. Looks to be in pretty good condition. Older. It's got your old 1970s baby blue. And baby blue tile too. You always want to check these houses. They got some of them have the old green board. And if it gets behind that tile, it gets wet. It'll hit right through. through here. And this countertop is an upgraded countertop. Cabinets are actually not original. They're upgraded too, or at least updated. Uh, got a side-by-side -side fridge, glass top stove, about a four, uh, five, six hundred dollar stove, above the range microwave, side-by-side -side refrigerator. We'll look back at this. That countertop, I believe, is a Corian countertop. That's what that's called. It's got the drop down ceiling. You can see that? Yeah, it's a Corian countertop, I believe. And you got an extra living room, family room in here. And that goes out to the back porch. We're just going to take a glimpse into the garage. I did see a slight stain. In the ceiling, and I'll show it to you. There's a little bit of a dog smell in here. Must have had dogs. The inside of the house smells great. This is a stain that I saw. It might be from that three tab shingle roof. It's been a while since it's been replaced, and you gotta expect to have to replace that in the next 10 years. This is looking back. I'll have to check to see if those washer and dryer are included. They probably are. They've probably moved out everything they're gonna move out. Take a quick glimpse of the backyard before we go into the second and third bedrooms. Oh, excuse me a minute. Look at the kitchen. I'll get this out of here. Right, this is your backyard. Concrete slab. 
fenced in all the way around. These lots are about 75, 80 feet wide by about 100, 100 to 110 feet deep. There's your neighbor. Got a couple of pools. All the neighbors. Looking at the back of the house. You won't be able to see if I look over the top of the roof, but it's because uh, the sun is shining. Let's walk back through before we run out of time here. This is a Berber flooring. I don't see a couple stains here and there, but nothing too major. You could probably use it for the time being. This is a nice bathroom. They tile all the way to the ceiling. Kind of see that. They use the old tub. They might have refinished it. But this is in good shape. Vanity's kind of dated. The toilet's an old three gallon flush toilet. Look under here. That looks to be pretty good. No. No areas there, a slight stain, but no recession really. And this is just nicely done. This is better than your master. So let's go in here and walk into the third bedroom. Get your linen closet right here. And you got your second bedroom, you got a window out. We'll turn around and look at it from this way. This is about a 11 by 11 bedroom ceiling fan California closets in both all three bedrooms actually and You walk back in here you can see the Last bedroom you got a split plan. That's good value Look back you got uh, another California closet in your entrance right there fan as well and That's it your 181 Brandy Hills Drive in Port Orange.